Wood floating to an unknown location on a lake that shouldn't be was one of the all-too-common images Friday. A day after the week-long rain subsided in southeastern North Carolina, the effects of flooding were being realized. In Carolina Beach, the flood stemming from an overflown Carolina Beach lake had begun to drop, but still had a long way to go as of midday. Where there was once a water line, there was now a waistline. The sewer and roadside drains were visible, but still at capacity. And the pumps that were working in relief of the overflowing sewer lines were visibly feeding discolored waste into the ocean. Officials had already been looking into swim advisories for the area before Friday's revelation, and as of Friday, even the birds were attempting to avoid it. We're saved! In Brunswick County, stranded motorists were finally rescued by boats on the still-covered highways. Still, more of the stranded were waiting any sort of exit vehicle. Oh yeah, there wasn't no water on last night. Really? Some up just this side of Maple Hill wasn't about that deep. And the crops and farmlands looked more like retention ponds or roadside wading pools Friday. As recovery efforts continue throughout the day and damage assessment will undoubtedly continue throughout the week and beyond, one might say that they would prefer to be a piece of driftwood than live on driftwood. At least the ants would.